Today's question is from Leslie. And Leslie wants to know, I'm trying to find my niche or niche as some people call it without spending a lot of money. This is the Creative Crafters Podcast. Hi, I'm Bet from Bet's Makes, and this is your questions answered. Now, trying to find your niche is pretty tough sometimes because you have to try a lot of different crafts in order to figure out what you like the best, but you should never eliminate anything else. So my suggestion, of course, is where I started, and I started making cards, and it was a lot easier there because you didn't need to spend a ton of money. You can go to Michael's or Joann's, and you can buy a stack of paper that's got a design on one side and it's white on the other, or you can just get a pad of paper that is the same color on both sides. It doesn't really matter what you use. You could even use a heavier um, laser copy paper as well for a card. I wouldn't use the thin ones. They're too thin. But those are fairly inexpensive ways to start because if you buy a ream of copy paper and it's fairly thick and it's shiny, like a 32-pound bond, that will give you a lot of paper to mess around with and print and do all kinds of things when you're making cards. So that's one way to do it. Now, of course, if you go to your dollar store, they also have pads of printed paper that you can use, and that's an inexpensive way to grab things. Now, that is just playing around with paper to start, and that's an inexpensive way to do it. If you want to add other things to play around with that's not going to cost you a lot of money, I am going to suggest you hit that dollar store, go to the crafting section, try one thing at a time. They have little wood pieces that you can pick up. They have buttons. They have different little jewels that you can glue on. Everything is really inexpensive there. So if you wanted to try even doing a bit of clay work, you can buy these packages of clay for between one and two dollars. Very inexpensive. And that is the best way to figure out what you really like. And then once you know what you really like, then you can start spending more money in that area. Now, finding a niche, not that easy, but playing around with a lot of crafts, oh, so much fun. This has been the Creative Crafters Podcast and your questions answered.